In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the screen on the iPhone 14 Pro. Take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two bottom screws just by the lightning connector on the bottom of the phone. With those two screws out of the way, we're going to take a single-sided razor blade and we're going to insert it to create a gap between the chassis and the edge of the screen. And then we're going to pry backwards until the bottom of the screen pops off like that. And we can pry that back to create a larger hole big enough to fit the plastic guitar pick in and now we're going to run it around the bottom edge this right hand edge only inserting it a couple of millimeters of the way run it back along this bottom edge and then along this right hand edge once you've gone around those three edges i'm just going to separate a little bit more up here you can get the pick in the top here we're going to sort of pry it off kind of lift it up from the bottom of the screen and then sort of wiggle it around from side to side to get a gap in this area and then you should be able to now open up the screen just like opening the front cover of a book now that you've got the screen open it's a good idea to place a weighted object like a mug just behind it so it's nice and sturdy and frees up both hands we're now going to take a tri-wing screwdriver and remove all these screws that hold down the shield protecting the logic board there's one just hiding here remember if you like repair content like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more there is one more screw hiding just behind this flex cable at the top. Don't forget to remove that. And once all the screws are removed, we can put them down to one side and then use tweezers to lift up the shield. And we can put that down to one side for later. I'm now going to use a plastic spudger to disconnect the battery and isolate power from the phone. And then we can disconnect this connector here, which is for the display. And then this top connector just up here for the front sensors. We can now lift up the screen. We're gonna put that down to one side for in a little bit. We're now gonna use a X-Acto blade, one of these little thin ones, to remove the adhesive seal from the edge of the device so that we can replace it with a fresh one. It's preferred if you can pull it off, although with the newer iPhones, it is very difficult to remove without scraping it away. So take, just make sure that you take a good minute to get all the adhesive removed, otherwise it's going to leave a pretty poor job. Obviously be very careful not to damage the battery when you scrape it. Obviously be very careful not to damage the battery or any other components when you're removing this adhesive. And just really take your time when using any sharp objects around all these fragile parts inside the device. Once you've removed as much adhesive as is humanly possible, we're going to get the little alcohol dropper out now. Run a bead of isopropyl alcohol along the edges of the device. And then using one of these little brushes, we're going to clean up any dust, dirt and grime that's left over after we've removed that adhesive. This is a quick brushing off on this one because it's not too dirty, but it definitely will benefit from a good cleaning off. Now we're going to get the new adhesive seal starting off on the left hand top corner down to the bottom left corner and ensuring that it sits nice and tight to the edges all the way around and then i just use the plastic spudger to push it down and make sure that it sits nicely all the way around taking off the top layer using some tweezers and just peeling that off now we're going to get the broken screen and concentrate on removing the front sensors and front microphone. This little bracket is held on by two crosshead screws. Go ahead and remove those two. Then use your tweezers to lift up the bracket and get that out of the way. And now we're gonna use a heat gun. You can use a hairdryer for the same effect, a heat mat, or, or even a large sort of paint stripping heat gun. I've got my heat gun set to 200 degrees C and I'm just using it to soften the adhesive mainly around here because this is stuck down pretty hard. And once we've got it moving, we just use the tweezers to get underneath this and start lifting it up. So you can peel it off. Just like that, turn on this area here. And lift up this sensor. And finally, the proximity sensor should come up quite easily too, with the tweezers. Now that that's removed, we can discard the screen 
and stick this thing onto our new screen. The screen that I'm using for this job is a genuine pulled screen and I'm gonna lay it down flat on the bench and begin by reinstalling this little sensor at the top as well as our proximity sensor and then allowing the rest of it to stick down just like that. Then we can place that bracket on there again, making sure that sits nicely. I'm not gonna mess around and tell you that I'll put the link in the description below because quite frankly, these these genuine pull screens for the iPhone 14 Pro are like rocking horse poop to get hold of. And this one comes from a fairly sort of exclusive supplier. Anyway, with that secured, we can begin installing this onto the phone. Place the chassis down, get our mug nearby, and then carefully offer up the screen connector and secure it into place. Followed by the connector at the top, secure that down. Make sure that it sits in nicely. Finally, reconnect the battery. This would be a very good time to check your screen is fully functional before going ahead with re-securing the screen down. However, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna skip that part. And now I'm gonna continue with the reassembly by placing this little shield, or big shield, depending how you look at it, on top of the motherboard and re-securing it down. The screw up the top here is the longest one, so get that one in first followed by this top right corner screw. That's also a longer one. And the rest of them are just little tri-wing screws. Resecure all of them back into place, making sure you don't miss any. Just a final check over to make sure that there's none missing. I'm just gonna blow out a little bit of dust from this one. I can now peel back last layer on the dust and moisture resistant seal close down the phone so that I can get this last bit out around here re-securing it down is a case of getting it lined up at the top and making sure that it sits nice and flush on this edge and then pushing your way down securing it into the chassis and squeezing it in the bottom there. For finally resecuring the two pentalobe screws into the bottom of the device. Now we can boot the device, making sure that the touch is fully functional, as well as all other functions. Thank you for watching and see you next time.